Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the third video lesson of grade 5 English. I am your English teacher from Honors Kindergarten and Secondary School. In this video lesson, I will explain English A as well as English B topics. Students, you will learn about unit number 3 Robinson Crusoe from your book and English B topics from Grammar Tree. Unit number 3, Robinson Crusoe. Students, please open your book, page number 28. Robinson Crusoe is an autobiographic kind of novel based on the... Robinson Crusoe is an autobiographic kind of novel based on the adventures of the narrator. Written by Daniel Defoe. He was an English trader, journalist, writer and pamphleter. He is most famous for his novel, Robinson Crusoe. Published in 1719, which is claimed to be second only to the Bible in its number of translations. Students, first of all, I will tell you dictation words. After that, I will tell you meanings of typical words, characters, setting and summary of this novel. In the end, we will see exercise, question answers and book work. Students, please underline the difficult words for dictation. Occasionally means kabhi kabar, ammunition, gola barud, hurricane, tufan, stockade means wooden fence, lakdi ki bar lagana, tornado, tufan, exhausted, thakawa, trolled, ringna, Plunged, Gota Lagana, Timber, Lakadi, and Quantity, Mikdar. Now I am going to explain words with their meanings. Gigantic, Bohut Bada, Huge, Very Large, or Tall. Voyage, Suffer, A Journey by Sea or Air. Violent, Purtashadud, Using Physical Force to Cause Hurt or damage. Resolve, hal karna, settle or find a solution to a problem. Tornado, tufan, a violent windstorm characterized by a twisting funnel shaped cloud. Hurricane, tufan, a sphere tropical storm. And the last one is vessel, a ship means jahaz characters and setting students the main characters in this novel are robinson crusoe and members of the crew setting the time and location in which a story takes place is called setting students the main incident in the novel took place on an island you can see the image of the island on your book page number 29 Students, ये कहानी एक नौजवान लड़के रॉबिनसन क्रूसू की है, जो कि अपने फादर के मना करने के बावजूद एक समुद्री सफर पर जाता है। सफर के दौरान इसका जहाज तूफान की वजह से तबाह हो जाता है, लेकिन वो जिंदा बच जाता है। इसमें आप ये भी पढ़ेंगे कि वो एक ज़िज़ीरे पर पहुंच जाता है, और वहाँ वो अकेला Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe is a novel in which the narrator tells about his life as an adventurer. He tells us how his ship got wrecked when he was on a sea voyage. He started his first voyage with members of crew and hit by a terrible sea storm. All his companions drawn and Crusoe remains as sole survivor. Next day he found himself on an inhabited land. After spending some days on the island, he visited the wrecked ship and started to bring all the things for making a hut. He found many animals there and used his gun as he managed to kill them for food. He also visited the other side of the island and found ample fruits there. One day he found some footprints there and lost peace for years. 
due to fear of being eaten by cannibals. Students, now open page number 32. There are some questions on your book. Learn the answer of the given questions from summer vacation work. Page number 33, working with words number 1. Complete the following in your own words. Each sentence should not be about Robinson. Rosu on the island but about something quite different. Students, aapke book par incomplete sentences diya gaya hai. Aapne unne incomplete karna hai. Aap zaruri nye aap sare sentences jo hai Robinson Rosu ke island wale part mein se hi lehen. Aap kahi se bhi leh sakte hai ya aap khud se bhi write kar sakte hai. First one dekhe, every day I brought items. अपने इसको कंप्लीट करना है एवरी डे आई ब्रॉट आइटम्स टू टेक ऑन माय जर्नी स्टूडेंट्स डू द रेस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट्स बाय योर सेल्फ पेज नंबर 33 लर्निंग अबाउट लैंग्वेज नंबर 1 सी इफ यू कैन कंप्लीट द फॉलोइंग स्टूडेंट्स आपके पर एडजेक्टिव्स दिए गए हैं आपने इनकी कंपैरेटिव एंड सुपरलेटिव डिग्री राइट करनी है like first one dekhen quickly iski comparative degree kya hogi more quickly and superlative degree will be most quickly do the rest of the parts by yourself number two now try this students ye bhi adjectives hai but ye irregular hai thik hai in mein hum more or most use nahi karte like first one dekhen hard harder hardest do the rest of the parts by yourself Page number 34. Number 2. Complete the sentences using adverb. Adverb. An adverb is a part of speech that describes or modifies a verb, an adjective, another adverb, clause or sentence. As a verb, jo verb ke meaning increase kare ya verb ko modify kare, usse hum adverb kate hain. Like first one dekhi, he drove carelessly. Here carelessly is an adverb students do the rest of the parts by yourself now pause this video read the novel twice underline the dictation words and complete your book work then resume the video now i am going to explain english p topics transitive and intransitive verbs adverb adverbs of degree adverbs of frequency and interrogative adverbs Transitive and intransitive verbs. Students, a transitive verb needs a direct object. Transitive verb ko direct object ki zarurat hoti hai. Julio makes the sentences wrong because there is not any object. Julio makes chairs. Here, chairs is a direct object. So, it is correct. An intransitive verb cannot have a direct object. Intransitive verbs ko direct object ki zarurat nahi hoti. Julia talks me. This is wrong. Because there is a direct object. Julia talks. This is correct. Because there is not any object. Adverb. An adverb is a part of speech that describes or modifies a word, an adjective, another adverb, clause or sentence. In simple words, aap keh sakte hain, jo word verbs ko modify karte hain, unhe hum adverb kehte hain. Adverbs of degree. Adverb. Adverbs of degree tell us about the intensity of something. Kisi chiz ki shiddat ke baare mein batate hain. The words to, enough, slightly, quite, very and extremely are examples of adverbs of degree. Students, open your book, page number 14. 
pick out the adverbs of degree from the following sentences students aapke book par sentences diye gaye hain aapne unme se adverbs of degree pick out karne hain john had just closed the front door when he remembered that he had simply forgotten to turn off the lights here's just and simply are adverbs of degree students do the rest of the parts by your self adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency describe how often an action happened the words always usually often sometimes rarely and never are examples of adverbs of frequency here you are always late there always is adverbs of frequency we usually go to cinema on sunday adverbs of time adverbs of time tell us when an action happened adverbs of time hame batati hai ki koi action kab kitni der और कितनी दफा हुआ है टूडे यस्टरडे लेटर नाउ लास्ट ईयर ऑल डे नॉट लॉन्ग फॉर अ वाइल सिंस लास्ट ईयर समटाइम्स फ्रिक्वेंटली नेवर ऑफन एंड रियरली आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एडवर्ब्स ऑफ टाइम एडवर्ब्स ऑफ टाइम book work part b pick out the adverbs of time and frequency from the following sentences students aap apne book par dekhe first sentence yesterday sara spoke to me twice on the phone yesterday shows time and twice shows frequency so yesterday is adverbs of time and twice is adverb of frequency students do the rest of the parts by your self interrogative adverbs interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions related to reason manner time or place interrogative adverbs hume batate hain koi action kab kahan kyun aur kaise hua hai why where when and how are examples of ad- why where when and how are examples of interrogative adverbs why are you running where have you been where and why are examples of interrogative adverb page number 14 to 17 fill in the blanks with suitable interrogative adverb students apne book par first sentence dekhein i cannot switch on this recorder dash do you do it i cannot switch on this recorder dash do you do it yahan put karenge how students do the rest of the parts by yourself students that was all about this video lesson i hope you understood all the concepts related to grammar tree robinson crusoe is a novel in which the narrator tells about his life as an adventurer on an island a verb which has an object is a transitive verb a verb which does not have an object is an intransitive verb an adverb is a part of speech used to describe a verb an adverb is a part of speech used to describe a verb adjective clause or another adverb it simply tells how where when or the degree at which something was done adverbs of degree are used to modify verbs adverbs and adjectives they they tell us the degree or extent to which something happens adverbs of frequency tell us how often or frequently something happens or is done interrogative adverbs are used to ask questions related to reason manner time or place 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो